Hello everyone. Hi everyone, Carol Abbey Gray in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I wanted to show you the paintings that I uh, dried from the last video that I made. This was the, the darker palette. I had a light palette going on and I had a dark palette going on. And these just came out beautiful. This one's from the darker palette. And this one is from the lighter palette. Just gorgeous. 11 by 14 for this one. And the first one was a little eight by 10. And this is from the lighter palette. I'm not sure how they would show up with the Diva Light on or off. And this one is just gorgeous. It's so soft. I don't know if you can really see the coral, the Perusian blue, the mint green, the lime yellow, the fuchsia, the soft gray the, from the Prussian blue mixing with um, the white. Came out beautiful. And then I had the 16 by 20s. This is from the lighter palette. I didn't like exactly how the Prussian blue mixed with something in here and had a gray shade running through it. But I've been looking at it, observing it on the porch. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a pour over or not. This was from the darker palette. Came out absolutely beautiful. 16 by 20. So pretty. And this is from the lighter palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Shades of lavender, lavender and blue, a little bit of the Prussian blue, magenta, mint green, and being a sandwich pour and sandwiched in between the white, it's light pastels. And it's just beautiful. Okay, and then mentioning pour overs here is the pour over that I did remember I painted the canvas in black and I poured it over and when I went off the air I had a straw and I was blowing the straw well I just think it's lovely not sure the direction the orientation that you would hang it whether it be portrait or landscape that would strictly be in the eye of the beholder. But it's absolutely beautiful. And there was enough paint left that I just laid a little bitty three by five canvas, it may be four by six, canvas down in the paint tray, just face down, pressed it around and pulled it up. And this is what I got, this beautiful little painting. All right, so I just wanted to share those with you. And I'm going to come back and mix up some leftover paintings, and we're going to get busy. I think I have enough paint to make about two paintings. Carol Epic Gray in Baton Rouge.